What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. Tap in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and tap in, okay? I got some interesting messages for you, Capricorn. So, I'm just going to go on and cleanse the energy, Cappy. Okay? All right, Capricorn. Now, um... I got the message. I was like, mm, somebody could be stalking somebody. Okay. Or not like literally stalking them. It feels like more online. I don't, I feel like somebody like saw something online and it pissed them off. Or you found out something online through lurking or somebody found out something about you through lurking on social media or something here. Um, I also feel like somebody's like prone to depression out here. I heard something about politics too. So I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but um, this can have something to do with like some type of twin flame bullshit. Um, but I'll show you what I got out here. The first cards that I pulled for you, I got prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. So there could be a Taurus significant here. For some of you Capricorn, um, or you may have Taurus in your chart, but it says prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So this card can speak to something like financial. There could be a financial matter that you're inquiring, inquiring about or you're concerned about or you're concerned about your money. This card can speak to like you needing to get a 12 month budget, you know, or get some type of budget in general, but like a 12 month plan of your goals. You can do like quarterly goals, like every three months, because it's 12 months in a year. So you may want to set yourself some type of quarterly goals to help you save more money or something like that. But it does say prosperity lies ahead. So this could just you needing to be more disciplined. Maybe you need to even go over your finances and see like what's going where and who's taking what. Um, cause you may catch something or see something or be able to like cut something that's like unnecessary. This card can also speak to self-esteem as well. So somebody needs to work on like their self-esteem. Um, they need to work on like how they value themselves or something here. Cause you could be, somebody could, could be out here like doing something that's not healthy in order to cope with something. I don't know what it is. But it's this card can speak to something here about self-esteem as well. It's like somebody needs to value them, themselves more. Or there's something here about insecurities. Maybe your insecurities are coming up, um, Capricorn. And then we got addicted out here. Yeah, that's why I said somebody could have some sort of addiction. I don't know what this addiction is. But it's like somebody wants to quit something. But it's, it's almost like... um. This could be like sobriety too. I don't know why I'm hearing sobriety. So somebody could be like recovering or they're trying to like stop drinking or something. Um, but with this addicted card here, this is like, um, I like somebody's prone to depression. It feels like a masculine energy here. I feel like this masculine, whoever this is, they may have had a plan of some sort about how something was going to go. But I feel like they've ran across some sort of like delay or setback. And now they're starting to feel depressed or discouraged again. Um, or Capricorn, this could be somebody that you're dealing with. I don't know. But yeah, it's like somebody or they're trying to work through some type of betrayal or something here. But I feel like it's hard. You know what I'm saying? I feel like somebody here is like dealing with depression. It's like this person could have felt like they were free of something, but like, it's like now, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, the best way I can describe this is like, you know how you're going through something or whatever, you know, something that's been hard, something that's been challenging, but it's like you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's like, you get, you get to the very end of the tunnel, you're getting ready to walk you know, through that next portal or through that next door, but it's like something gets in the way of you opening that door right when you get to the end. So I feel like there's some type of delay here with somebody's plan or there's been like a monkey wrench thrown in somebody's print, 
thrown in someone's plan and now there is triggering some type of depression. I really, I mean, it doesn't feel as dramatic as this person may be trying to make it seem, but I, I feel like it's making them feel some type of way. It could be triggering them in some type of way. So I don't, I don't know who this person is to you or if this is you or this is somebody around you, Capricorn. Like, I don't know exactly what the fuck is going on here, but that's what it feels like. <clears throat> But let's see what's going on for Capricorn at this present time here. What's going on here for Capricorn? Yeah, there's some type of message out here or communication out here. So somebody could want to call you or send you a message. I mean, this could be a text. It could be a letter. It could be DM, email. But there's some type of message or something out here. Let's see. Let's see the Capricorn. But whoever this is, I feel like whatever this delay is, I feel like it's an easy fix. It's something that's solvable because... With the new moon in Taurus, it says prosperity lies ahead. This person may just need to like revise their plan or find another way to do something. Like it feels like an easy fix, but I feel like this, whatever this is, is triggering some sort of depression with this person. It could be causing them to want to drink again if they were on like, you know, dealing with sobriety. Yeah, the lover's card here. Gemini energy. Another card here. Yeah. yeah, so somebody could have messaged somebody about a lover's relationship. I don't know if they mentioned this through text or a phone call. It's like whatever this message is or phone call is, it, it has something to do with a lover's relationship. Like real shit. So I don't know if somebody was like telling somebody they're in a relationship or something about a relationship or something. Yeah, look at that. And it says court paperwork filed here. So some of you could be going through um some of you could be going through a um divorce here for some of you, or there could be a Libra involved here, or this could be some type of legal battle here with the courthouse. Yeah, somebody's like receiving some type of news or paperwork in regards to um, some sort of relationship. Like I said, this could be a divorce. Somebody's like going back and forth to court or something here. Yeah, this could have something to do with like alimony or child support or something. Yeah, and then we got... Um, yeah, we got thoughts out here. Yeah, somebody's like concerned about somebody. There's, there's this. It's a masculine energy out here that's like concerned or worried. It's like it's it's like some type of like court or paperwork or something that's like delaying them from getting something. And they're they're thinking about somebody or they're worried about something here. Worried that something is gonna be over with the coffin card, or they're worried that somebody's gonna leave them or something. I don't know what the fuck this is, Capricorn. Woo, child. Okay. I don't know what the fuck this has to do with you. Like, I don't feel no type of feminine energy out here yet. So, this feels like a masculine energy. It could be a Libra, Taurus, or a Capricorn man, or a Gemini. Let's see. What's going on here for Capricorn?
I mean, the lovers is out here. So for some of you, you could be in a relationship with this person. Yeah, and look what fell out. Look what flipped over. Yeah, it says financial support, child alimony, and government. Told you. So it has something to do with child support, alimony. Somebody's worried about having to pay out some money or... They could be concerned about getting locked up for child support because it is handcuffs out here. It's like there is something legal in regards to a child or child support or a divorce that somebody's concerned about. I mean, this could be a masculine energy worried about like how much he's going to have to pay in child support or alimony to an ex-wife or a baby mama. Especially if somebody's been found out this person's in a relationship. Let's see, Capricorn. Yeah, told you somebody's like single now. It says single current status is available. Yeah, it says tragedy, forbidden love. So yeah, so for some of you, Capricorn, this could be somebody that you wish you never fucked with, or yeah, it says come together, reconciliation, spiritual soul contract. I don't know if you tried to reconcile with this person before, Capricorn. Yeah, it says in their head, overthinking, stress, and overanalyzing. So it is a karmic feminine energy out here. She could be a smoker, could smoke cigarettes, weed, whatever the fuck the case may be. But there is a karmic feminine out here that's like overanalyzing something up in their head. Could be about a reconciliation. It's like, damn, am I going to get this person back? Or if I'm going to get with this person? Or I was like, I, I, it's, it feels like... I feel like there's a karmic energy out here that's like concerned if she's going to be able to get back with somebody. It's like she's overanalyzing it or she's overthinking something here. Because it says come together, like come together, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. But then somebody's like up in their head. Like, Why? Yeah, it says lockbox, closed in, trapped, and frustrated. So this is like an eight of swords energy. Yeah, this is somebody feeling trapped and stuck, or they feel like they don't, they can't figure out a solution. They don't know how to get out of this, how to resolve this, how to fix it. Somebody could be feeling really anxious or their anxiety is high. I mean, I feel like this, whatever this is, could be like a bit embarrassing. To either you, Capricorn, or whoever this karmic feminine energy is, she could be embarrassed in some sort of way. Somebody's definitely all up in their head with a lockbox, so they could be in spiritual jail too, just feeling trapped and stuck. Yeah, searching online or looking for records. That's why I said somebody's like looking at something online, and now they, they might have seen something, so now they're all up in their head about it. Yeah, it says focus eyes fascinating watching you there. Yeah, that's why I said somebody's like stalking you, or this is you stalking somebody, you're online tuned in to somebody else's life, or this is you doing this, or somebody's doing this to you. Yeah, I told you, and they pissed. They somebody saw something online and they're fucking pissed. It's like pressure cooker, rage ready to explode. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if somebody thought that they were going to reconcile this masculine, but it's not turning out that way. Yeah, pregnancy, entrapment. So, yeah, this could be somebody who got pregnant on purpose or they got, you know, they baby trapped somebody for money. But it's either they're not going to get the type of money that they thought they were going to get or they thought they were going to get this person back and they're not. Yeah, it says bad habits, drug addiction, and toxicity. So, yeah, this is the karmic bitch out here that does drugs. She could do coke or because it looks like the bitch snorting lines to me. So I don't fucking know. It's definitely a karmic feminine energy out here who got pregnant on purpose by somebody. And now the bitch is like concerned about money or concerned that she's going to be stuck with this baby or something here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's having to give somebody money. 
because it says financial support, same shit, different day, and giving money. Yeah, it's a karmic feminine out here who's like pissed. She feels like she got played. Now she's lost and confused because she thought this person was like her twin flame or some shit. Like, yeah, they're not getting along. It says ego, her ego in the way of a relationship. So it's like two motherfuckers can't get along because, because of the, their ego. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody has a point to prove. They want to prove that, oh, you just didn't leave me or you just going to move on and be happy. Or it's, it's just, this is just weird ass energy. I'm telling you, these supposed to be grown ass motherfuckers, I'm telling you, these readings be telling a different fucking story. Motherfuckers are far, far the fuck from grown. Yeah, it could be a potential third party here. Yeah, somebody's faking and pretending and living beyond their means. There's definitely a woman out here that's concerned about money. Yeah, low IQ on the bottom of the deck. So somebody may feel, I don't know. I don't know why low IQ on the bottom of the deck. Somebody isn't the smartest crayon in the box. That's what I'm saying. This masculine energy could feel like he was close to getting something or almost out of something, but he could have been, he, it's like he could have been free, you know, chilling, like, yes, I'm free, da, da, da. And then, like, something came back around. I told you, somebody's jealous out here. Somebody who, yeah, somebody has a spirit of jealousy on them. That's a very, jealousy is a very low vibrational energy. Somebody needs to do the shadow work. Like, bitch, you shouldn't be jealous or envious or paying attention to nobody else's life that much. You need to be concerned about your own. Period. But yeah, I feel like there's a masculine out here. He was, like, free or he had some type of plan. You know what I'm saying? And he was, like, he was doing good and everything, but something has set him back. I don't know what it is. It could be he found out he got a karmic bitch pregnant. Or she's trying to use this baby as a pawn to control this person or, you know, hang it over his head or something like that. Yeah, because it says heartstrings out here. So it's like it's like a karmic bitch out here that knows she can have her way with a masculine energy by fucking with their baby. Like real shit. It's one of them hoes that be like, well, you can't come see your kid or if you don't pay me, you can't do this or whatever the fuck. Like these bitches is just fucking stupid and slow. Like real shit. You use a fucking stupid bitch. For real. Using your own fucking baby as a pawn. Like bitch, you, you deserve the hottest seat in hell that they have, bitch. Just, your ass just need to go to fuck up in flames. Like, period. And I meant, I meant that shit, bitch. How many messages for Capricorn? Like, you bitches are stupid. Yeah, land back. Yeah, somebody took their power back in this situation, but now it's a bitch out here that's like, I don't know if this is you you doing this or somebody out here is doing this. I don't know if this if you're in a relationship because the lover's card is here. I don't know if this is somebody you've been having sex with or whoever the fuck this is. They could be having this going on with somebody else that they have a child with. So like Capricorn, if you're if you're dealing with somebody who you know you're sleeping with somebody, you're connecting with somebody, or you could even be in a relationship with the lover's card here. And this person that you're connected to has a baby with a karmic who's using the baby as a pawn to like, I, the bitch is jealous. Like, I don't fucking know. It's so like, bitches need to get a life. Yeah, it says, what does it say? Get fucked. Yeah, this is like when you're absolutely disgusted with somebody. So you're just pulling your energy back for somebody. You're like, fuck you. Go away. Like, please leave me the fuck alone. Like, real shit. Now, that sounds like you, Capricorn. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I feel like this this masculine energy could be finding out that he got somebody pregnant and now he's pissed. It's like, fuck. It's like I already dealt with a karmic relationship. I already had a baby mama before and that bitch tried to take me through the ringer. Now I'm about to have another one. I'm about to have to start over. Got a whole fucking newborn out here. Like somebody is pissed. Or it's this Taurus or this Gemini or this Libra. 
Yeah, legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bottom of the day. Told you this is mad ass bitch who needs to mind her business. Didn't I just say that? Triggered and then stay in your lane. This card literally in this deck means you need to mind the business that pays you. A bitch is mad over somebody else's business because she was being fucking nosy. Like something don't even got nothing to fuck to do with you, bitch. You need to mind yours and focus on your life. Because it looks like it's raggedy from where I'm sitting at. Yeah, red flag. Like, yeah, somebody, this is an energy vampire. Somebody's like being a complete bitch and a troll. Like, but it's like, it's a bitch out here that's been warned too, though. Red flag. It's like, bitch, you've been warned to mind your business, okay? So when karma spin a block on your ass, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. The ancestors is going to take care of you, bitch. Don't worry about it because you can't seem to mind your fucking business or move the fuck on with the Six of Swords reverse. This year for Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like whatever this is could be stressing this masculine energy out. It's like, damn, like I'm in a relationship with the lover's card here, and like I just found out I got a newborn baby on the way, or they're dealing with some type of court situation with this weird, nosy ass bitch. It's just like, oh my fucking god, like somebody's like stressed the fuck out. card is here gemini energy so yeah it's like somebody has a choice between two or they did make a decision like somebody could definitely be in a relationship out here or something here has potential with some with you and someone you and a gemini something here has potential okay yeah but eight of swords but yeah somebody feels trapped they feel stuck they feel like they can't get out of something or they're restricted or they can't move how they want to move or they can't figure out a solution. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't know the answer to something like the eight of swords is like being anxious, having anxiety, feeling like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. The eight of swords is also self-sabotage. So somebody may be fearing that they're going to fuck this relationship up with the lovers here. Yeah, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, somebody may be trying to keep themselves busy is at work so they don't have to think about whatever this is. But yeah, I feel like something uh, somebody wants out of something. Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands. Yeah, so there could be some type of argument, conflict. This is that jealousy shit. It's a bitch out here that's just jealous, just stirring up shit. Five of Wands is conflict. It's not getting along. It's drama. It's petty. It's jealousy amongst a group of people. Could be up to five people, but it doesn't have to be. This could also be inner conflict. It's like somebody, they're conflicted. They don't know what to do. Eight of Swords and a Five of Wands and a Three of Swords. Yeah, because somebody is like fucking heartbroken. Told you that tower. Ooh, that tower hit somebody, okay? Something, they saw something, something here was a complete shock and it broke their fucking heart. That's why I said somebody was lurking online, being nosy. They could have figured out that somebody moved on or some shit or shit. Somebody could have just got mad and went off on somebody or something. Yeah, but somebody's definitely heartbroken with the three of swords here. Somebody could have been crying. It's like this tower is like something got exposed and it's, it just pierced somebody's heart. It's like, damn. Yeah, five of wands is the overall energy, so it's definitely some low vibrational shit going on, some drama, some conflict, some backbiting, jealousy, motherfuckers being petty and shit. Just it's just like 
why? And people are supposed to be grown as fuck. Like, why? Like, this type of energy shouldn't even come the fuck out. <sighs> this definitely can have something to do with an ex. Because the three of swords to be your ex person. But I don't, I don't fucking know. Why is the lovers here? Because this shit, whatever this is, then got the fuck on my nerves already. Why is the lovers here? I mean, the lovers here talks about a choice. So, if Capricorn, you got a choice between two people. I feel like you're choosing the right person here, but it's like something here that's like drama and petty and low vibrational. Why is the lovers here? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I told you somebody's like happy. It's like they're happy in this relationship. Ten of Cups is like pure bliss, satisfaction. Somebody could feel like, you know, they're the, you're the one that they want to marry, they want to be with. Ten of Cups is like you're happily ever after. This could even be a blended family. That's why I said somebody can have kids with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a relationship with somebody or you're dating somebody, they could have children from a, another relationship when you met them or you do. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, look at that devil card. Mm -hmm. So this could be you. This could be you, Capricorn. You look, you can you know what the fuck side you're on. Capricorn, that's your energy with the devil. So you're either in this lover's connection with somebody, with this Gemini or this Cancer Pisces or this Scorpio. You could be happily married and shit. Or this is somebody else's relationship. The lovers with the Ten of Cups. Somebody's like happily married, happily in love. You know, they, they chose their person or they chose who they wanted to be with. And this is you, Capricorn, obsessing over this relationship, over someone else's connection. I was the devil here, yeah, because somebody here may, because they're bound to something here. Yeah, it's like somebody's like tied to somebody because of a kid. Yeah, because it's crazy how we got like two people in every card. Like the lovers has two people on it. Ten of Cups has two people here. And the devil has two people here. So it's like, it's like somebody is in like two situations at once. It's like they're happily married or happy in a connection on one side. And the other side, they're still bound to a karmic energy that they have a kid with. That's like, the shit is very toxic. And I feel like somebody's like, their anxiety, it's been a lot of drama, arguing, bullshit between these people. Why is the devil card here? Like whoever this karmic is, she's this he he or she, whoever this devil energy is, like somebody out here is like obsessively watching somebody, watching somebody be happy. And I feel like it's it's triggering them, but it's like, bitch, if you mind your business, you won't be triggered. Like, right, why is the devil here? Yeah, Ace of Cups. So there's a bitch sitting up here crying because she's watching somebody else choose somebody else or get married to somebody else and go be happy. Somebody chose somebody else or they made a different choice when it comes to who they want to be with or who they want to marry. The lovers with the Ten of Cups and they're actually fucking happy. Like the Ten of Cups is the happiest card in the deck. That's You got all Ten Cups. It don't get no better than that. It's like somebody's in a relationship where they found somebody who accepts their child or their children from a different relationship. It's like a bitch out here that just can't stand it. She's crying and shit. Devil with the ace of cups. Like, bitch, really? You're really crying, bitch. These hoes are pathetic. Why is the ace of cups here? Yeah, I told you. Look at that. Ten of pentacles reversed. Yeah, because she's getting a divorce. 
or when she was whoever this masculine energy is involved in this shit, they were divorced. They, but they were in a Ten of Pentacles reverse. So it's like, bitch, you... It, it wasn't a real foundation. It was built on, on shaky ground and instability. Like, first of all, bitch, you only marry somebody because of the money that they make or how they could provide for you or whatever security. You didn't really love this person. It was what they could do for you or what they could provide for you. But, bitch, it was definitely raggedy and toxic with the devil in the ace of cups in the ten of pentacles reverse and bitch you got the audacity to be crying why because you losing shit ten of pentacles reverse because now you got to file bankruptcy or now people are finding out that yeah bitch this little relationship that you thought you were in was a fraud it was a fake like you were with somebody for a long ass time for nothing basically it's like 10 of pentacles reverse. Like whoever this masculine energy is, he could have been with this karmic for like 10 years. Or more shit or less. And a, a bitch out here is sitting up crying because somebody's moving the fuck on with the 10 of cups and the lovers. I'm talking about really low vibrational, very toxic. I'm telling you, somebody's insecurities are being triggered out here with the devil in the upright. <laughs> it's like somebody could be obsessed with somebody here. Or they could be, they're, they're obsessed with having control over somebody. Yeah, look at that. Four of Cups reverse. Yeah, they keep trying to come back around to this person. Because the Four of Cups can speak to missed opportunities. So it's like this bitch is seeing how this person is being loved in this new connection or this new marriage. And so they're trying to like intervene. It's a weird ass bitch out here. Why is the four close reverse? Because I'm telling you, like anytime you get into a relationship and the shit gets real, real toxic and then you break up, the two people break up. You can always tell the person that was the problem. It's like this bitch is going through a divorce or she broke up with somebody with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. And it's like the people can clearly see like, bitch, you were the issue because whoever the other person is, bitch, they're happy now. The lovers with the Ten of Cups, it's like somebody moved on and now they're fucking happy. So, bitch, clearly that means you were the one causing all the problems in this devil energy. I feel like somebody doesn't like that. Yeah, look at that. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this bitch is trying to hold on to this person. It's like, bitch, no. You have to let somebody's energy go. Somebody has chose somebody else and moved on. Like, bitch, what are you doing? Look at this. Six of Swords reverse. A bitch does not want to move on here. She can't get over it mentally. She can't stop thinking about it. It's like, and bitch, you got other shit to worry about with the Six of Swords reverse because the Six of Swords reverse could be like trouble approaching. You know what I'm saying? There's there's going to be some shit that's getting ready to happen that you need to deal with. Like, bitch, it's some turbulence going on, okay? So instead of your mind being occupied about somebody moving on and being happy and shit, it's like, bitch, you need to worry about whatever this is that you got going on here, okay? Why well, is the Six of Swords reverse? Yeah, eight of swords. Yeah, she could be blowing somebody's phone up or texting somebody like long ass paragraphs out here. Like, what in the fuck? Why is the ace of eight, eight of wands here? Yeah, star reverse. There could be an Aquarius here. Star reverse. Yeah, somebody's like they're feeling hopeless. They're feeling helpless. They're trying to play the victim now because they're like. People are just not in favor of this person anymore. You know what I'm saying? The star card is like when somebody's like super talented, but it's just like this person is more known for their personal business than their actual talent. 
or like I said, like Capricorn, your card did come out in the upright on top of this Ten of Cups and the Lovers. So you could be the one in this new connection, this new blended family, um, this new relationship here. And it's like somebody from your past keeps trying to call you, blow up your phone. They're trying to hang on to your energy and shit. It could be an Aquarius that's doing this to you who refuse to leave you alone. They keep calling you, texting you long ass paragraphs, crying and shit. It's like, what in the fuck? Yeah, somebody's feeling hopeless out here with the starry verse. They're playing victim. They're feeling like a failure. Or, like I said, you could have reconciled with somebody. So, like, say Capricorn, say you were in a toxic-ass relationship with somebody, right? And you and this karmic motherfucker broke up and you, and you moved on. You know what I'm saying? You you and a karmic broke up, right? Y'all went y'all separate y'all went y'all separate ways. And like maybe you ran into like an old friend or somebody that you used to know where it may have had potential, but it never really got off the ground. And so you decided to pursue that, and then it turned out to be the lover's upright. It turned out to be a good connection. Somebody that you could see yourself marrying and shit, and now you're with this person. And your ex person is like losing their shit. Why is the starry verse here? Yeah, judgment. It's like you could be calling somebody out too on this victim playing shit. It's like, bitch, you're not no victim. You're not fucking innocent. Or like I said, this is somebody they're holding on to your energy because they want a second chance. The judgment here. But I don't know why I'm getting the feeling like this person then it's like they're trying every trick in the book to like get you back or get your attention back. Or this is you doing this. It's like somebody's trying to stir up trouble or stir up conflict because they still want you. Why is the eight of swords here? reverse yeah something here was revealed we got cancer energy out here uh, yeah there's a secret out or something has been revealed could have been revealed that somebody they're actually married now oh, some moon core reverse here well, there could be a cancer going to jail or like I said, the moon card reverse talks about secrets being revealed. What was in the dark is being exposed. It's coming to the light or it's out in the open. It's not a secret anymore. Somebody found out something here, found out about something that was hidden from them. And now they're heartbroken. Three of swords. That's the three of swords here. It's like they could find out that somebody's like really moving the fuck on. Yeah, look. Temperance. Somebody's like finding out that somebody's like really at peace. They're happy. It's like they're unbothered. <laughs> Temperance here. We got Sagittarius energy out here. So some of you could be a um Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. Why is the temperance here? I told you somebody's like free it's like they're free of this person it's it's nothing like binding this person to this situation anymore it's like they're free to go or free to walk away that's the fool card here yeah i told you it's a masculine out here yeah king of pentacles <laughs> there's a capricorn man in the upright so so there could be a um there be a Capricorn man that's like a, a Sag Capricorn cusper, or there could be um there could be a masculine energy out here with a fire placement. He could be a Capricorn man with a um Sagittarius or an Aries placement. But yeah, I feel like this man is stable, his money is good, he can have a good career. 
where he could be a business owner and an entrepreneur, very family oriented. This is somebody who's a good dad, a good father. It's like they pay their bills. They're financially responsible. They handle their business. They could be an entrepreneur. It's like they're very stable, very loyal, very family oriented and dedicated to the people that they care about. That's the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, magician. Yeah, this person is, this could be, this is somebody who knows how to manifest whoever this King of Pentacles is. You know, he knows how to work with the elements. He know how knows how to get what he wants. This could be somebody with like powerful words. This is somebody with spiritual gifts, whatever this masculine energy is. It's like he knows how to work with the elements to get what he wants. He knows how to manifest. I was a magician here. This could also be a Virgo man because a magician can be Virgo. Yeah, look, and it's a bitch in her feelings. I told you, Queen of Cups, I told you. It's a karmic energy that's like refusing to let go of this person's energy with the four cups she doesn't have to be a water sign she could be but she doesn't have to be it's just a bitch in her feelings we got the ace of cups and the queen of cups reverse it's a bitch sitting up here crying and, and first of all this is a bitch who's needy she's clingy she's whiny always crying always playing victim with the queen of cups and the star reverse Ooh wee, this bitch is annoying like, I feel, whoever this King of Pentacles is, ooh, boo, I feel your pain. This bitch is annoying. Queen of Cups, very spiteful, vindictive, jealous. So, yeah, she's doing something out of spite. She's in her feelings. This is somebody who's emotionally unstable, emotionally unbalanced, very immature. She's manipulative as well. She likes to manipulate with emotions. But it's like, this man, she can't manipulate him. He's in the King of Pentacles upright. It's like, bitch, he's not concerned about your feelings at all. So while you're doing all of this, it's not it's not moving him at all. It's like, y'all not even in the same suit. You're in your feelings, and he's on some money shit. He's in his bag with the King of Pentacles. He don't care about you crying and shit, bitch. Queen of Cups reverse, bitch, is just spiteful, vindictive, manipulative, always playing victim, emotionally unstable, immature. It's just, she's a mess. Like, real shit. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse here? Very jealous. So, it's like she's doing something out of spite, out of jealousy. She doesn't want to see this person move on and be happy. But it's like, bitch, you need to go work on yourself and then rag the ass emotions. Nobody wants to be bothered with the King of, I mean, the Queen of Cups reverse. That shit is irritating. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse here? Yeah, and I feel like people can see her as that now. Like a victim playing ass bitch. Or I was the queen, queen of cups reverse. Yeah, hangman. Yeah, she's stuck. This could be a Pisces female with the hangman and the queen of cups reverse. Or she has Pisces in her chart. But yeah, it's like she's stuck. She doesn't understand something. She keeps repeating the same pattern over and over again. Or she's not changing It's like, yeah, her life is on pause. Her money could be on pause until she lets go of something. Like, it's like she doesn't want to be sacrificed. It's like she she doesn't want, she don't want this man to let her go right, or something. Because we got two cards of not moving on. The Hangman reverse and the Six of Swords reverse. It's like a bitch is like acting out, like acting like a fucking crying ass baby because she doesn't want to be sacrificed or released it's like bitch that's not up to you it's like something is over here and a bitch is really just trying like why is it hang in reverse yeah knight of swords yeah she could be attacking this masculine or trying to go off on him and shit with the knight of swords reverse i mean just acting a fucking damn fool yeah she could be trying to curse this this king of pentacles out it's like she's doing everything to try to get this person's attention this shit is so childish and so lame knight of swords reverse
it's like she's just she's could be going off on him or she, it's like she's trying to trigger this masculine it's like anything to get some attention from him because she's like codependent queen of pentacles versus somebody who's emotionally codependent she could have been codependent on this king of pentacles here and so now the bitch is just acting the fuck out it's like she wants this man's attention so bad it's like woo, these these hoes are Knight of Swords reverse here. Yeah, her plan is not working though. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, like bitch, this shit is a waste of time. Like you, all this shit that you're doing, it's a waste of time. Seven of Pentacles reverse is not working. And like I said, her money could be drying up. Her bills are stacking up and shit. And this King of Pentacles could be like, bitch, I'm not giving you no more money than what I give you. Like, that's all you're getting from me. But this bitch is trying to do her best. I'm talking about she playing victim. If this King of Pentacles got to go to court with this bitch, she acting like, oh, woe is me. Damn, so in distress. I don't know how I'm going to survive. Like, bitch, you're going to get a fucking job or two or three or whatever the fuck you need to do to make shit happen. Because you're not going to get it from this King of Pentacles, bitch. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed? Yeah, she getting frustrated because something's not working. Yeah, page of cups. Yeah, I told you, and she could be using this kid. Queen of cups reverse in the page of cups. They have a child together. Yeah, seven of wands. But yeah, somebody could be the hierophant reverse. Yeah, somebody definitely could be getting a divorce. Taurus energy out here seven of wands like yeah somebody's like rejecting somebody or they're like no like i i want out of this marriage i want a divorce i need you to sign like somebody out here is like they're trying to delay this divorce or something here why is the page of cups here Look, and somebody's pissed the fuck off. Nine of Wands. Somebody's like projecting. They have an attitude. They're sending evil eye. It's like they're wearing their stuff out. Somebody out here is exhausting themselves, trying to like, I don't know what the fuck she's trying to do. She's definitely trying to get back at this King of Pentacles, but bitch, all your efforts are in vain. Okay, it's not working. Nine of Wands, and now she's irritated. She got an attitude. She's projecting. In the evil eye and shit. Yeah, because she keeps watching something here with the hermit card. This bitch is just sitting at home, stalking and watching and making herself mad when she needs to be minding her fucking business. Why is the hermit here? Yeah, four of swords here. Yeah, somebody's like protecting their peace. They're ignoring her. Four of swords here. Somebody could even be going to therapy with the hermit and the four of swords. Or somebody's being told that they need to go and it's pissing this bitch off. Seven of wands here. Yeah, because somebody's like setting boundaries with her. They're like, no, like, bitch, no, you need to go get some help. Hermit and the four of swords, you need to go speak to a professional, bitch. So something's wrong. Why is the seven of wands here? Somebody's definitely standing their ground, though. They're protecting themselves. They're rejecting her. They're like, no. <laughs> Seven of Wands here. Yeah, world card. Yeah, because somebody's, like, trying to keep this cycle open. Like, real shit. I told you, someone, there's something here isn't completely closed out. It's like you're waiting on a divorce. You're waiting on the final say-so or the final divorce decree or the final verdict or the final court date. Something like that. Why is the world card reverse? Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, so somebody's like juggling two situations here. It's like they're in a relationship with somebody else where everything is going fine. The lovers in the ten of cups, and then they're dealing with this bitch, queen of cups reverse here. That's just being completely fucking ridiculous. Like it's like they're trying to balance these two situations. I know this masculine to be glad when this shit over. No cap. Yeah, page of pentacles reverse. It could be two children involved here. But yeah, it's like somebody here is playing games. Page of pentacles reverse. It's like they're childish. They could be ex obsessively getting readings done or somebody or playing in divination. 
Why is the page of principles here? Somebody's like very childish, very immature. Like, yeah, Queen of Wands reverse here. I told you. It's a third party here. You got King of Pentacles upright, Queen of Wands upright, and the fucking Queen of Cups reverse. So, yeah, whoever this new person is that this masculine is dealing with, she could be a Queen of Wands here. I mean, the Queen of Wands is also known as the other woman. But that's what I'm saying. Like, usually the Queen of Wands can be known as the other woman. But when she's in the upright, that's somebody who's confident. That's somebody who has boundaries. That's not somebody who's just going to let somebody put them in a third party. So this Queen of Wands could have been somebody who, you know, this King of Pentacles could have been interested in this Queen of Wands. But she like, she could have been like, well, as long as you're involved with that Queen of Cups, like, nah, we ain't never finna do nothing romantic. I'm not finna sleep with you or nothing like that. You know what I mean? You cool. We ain't got no issue with each other. But as long as you're dealing with that bitch, it's a no-go for me. You know what I'm saying? But like. I feel like now this King of Pentacles could be choosing this Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands could be um, a Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Or you have fire placements here, Capricorn. You could be this Queen of Wands. You're fine. You're sexy. You're ambitious. You're a go-getter. Um, you know, you be outside. You be doing your thing. You know, you're just confident. You're protected. You could be very witchy. Like white, you know, do like white witch or protection magic or something here. It's like... You know, you're very confident in yourself. It, you're extremely confident in yourself. And then it's, it's a bitch out here who's emotionally unstable and needs help. Okay? So, you know what side of this shit you're on. But it's definitely a third party here. Yeah, Ten of Wands reverse here. What is the Ten of Wands reverse here? Yeah, I feel like it's just a bitch in her feelings. Because she's like, she's being let go completely. This King of Pentacles is choosing somebody else. Like real shit. Ten of Wands reverse here. Yeah, four of Wands. Yeah, somebody's like completely dropping somebody or dropping something that was like stressful and overwhelming and just not their problem. With the four of Wands upright, it's like, yeah, somebody's like choosing to let go of something for something else that's more stable. Told you, Twin Flame here, like... 11-11 here. Yeah, it's like it's a bitch being dropped completely. That's why I say it's a bitch out here who needs to work on herself. Queen of Custody verse, like, bitch, that shit is annoying. It's burdensome to have to deal with somebody who can't control their emotions. Like, bitch, you whine and you cry too much. Like, every time I say something to you, you and your feelings, or you mad, or you feeling some type of way, like, that shit is irritating. That's why somebody's like, 10 of wands, like, I can't do this anymore. Like, bitch... I'd rather go be with somebody else. Four of Wands here. Like I said, somebody could be getting married with the Ten of Cups, the Lovers, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, look at that. High Priestess. Yeah, so somebody could be a reader out here with the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess. Somebody here could be very tapped in or this high priestess knows that she's going to end up marrying this person. Or this is the person that she's supposed to marry with the high priestess. Yeah, this almost feels like whoever this king of pentacles is, he could be he could be in a relationship with this high priestess, queen of wands person that he told this queen of cups reverse not to worry about. You know what I'm saying? This is really what this feels like. It's almost like... This masculine energy out here was dealing with somebody who's just been emotionally unstable. He was tired of that shit. And then he met somebody else that he found attractive, Queen of Wands with the High Priestess. And it's like, but maybe he didn't try to fully pursue her knowing that he was still dealing with this Queen of Cups reverse. But I feel like he made the decision to let this Queen of Cups reverse go with the Ten of Wands reverse. And now he's with this High Priestess, Queen of Wands. But like I said, there's still loose ends to to clear up or tie up with this uh queen of cups reverse meaning like like i said it could be like a pending divorce it's like you're just waiting to go to court or you're waiting for their final paperwork or a document or something here but in the meantime it's like somebody's like it's like they're stuck in an in-between 
you know, they're in that transitional space when you're like leaving one situation and trying to move to another. But it's like you're just trying to keep your balance and deal with everything until you're completely done with something. Why is the high priestess here in the uh, four of wands? I mean, they could be living together and moved in together and shit. Why is the shit? Why is the high priestess in the four of wands here? Yeah, look, I told you. It's a divine feminine. I knew it. The high priestess, the high priestess, the empress, and the queen of wands. It's a divine feminine out here that this masculine is fighting to be with. But they're trying to tie up loose ends with this karmic feminine energy. This high priestess could be pregnant too and she's keeping it to herself. The high priestess and the empress. Or like I said, somebody could have secretly proposed or secretly eloped. The empress and the high priestess. But this is a powerful combination here. Whoever this masculine is, whoever he's dealing with now. Oh, wow. Like, High Priestess and the Empress? It don't get no better than that. That's somebody, like, who's super tapped in, a super manifester and shit. But I feel like this 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 masculine is a um, manifester, too. The, the King of Pentacles and the Magician? It's like they're both powerful when it comes to manifesting. Look at this. Wow. Emperor to the Empress. Yeah, I feel like two people found their match. It's a twin flame that's actually coming together. Like real shit. But it's like a bitch that, that this masculine has to leave behind. And it, this could be like an older man. Or this could be somebody with like some salt and pepper. This definitely big dick energy, grown man vibes with the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. Somebody who's very loyal. They have integrity. Somebody who believes in family is like, yeah, they want to get married. Or they did. They eloped. They secretly eloped, secretly moved in together. Or they're planning a wedding or she's pregnant or something. But I feel like it's been revealed, though, that somebody's like officially moved on with that moon in reverse. And it's like a karmic feminine energy who's like acting a fucking fool because this masculine is really like, he's gone for good type shit. Five of the five of wands here. Wow. Yeah, it's like he learned his lesson with this karmic feminine energy. And he found somebody who's like his perfect match. He found somebody that's his counterpart, emperor to the empress. Then those are two people that are going to be together for a very long time. And somebody's mad at that. <laughs> like, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like whoever this emperor and this empress is, they can have haters too. It could be somebody trying to approach. Because look at that. I'm telling you, this is like royalty. King to the Queen of Pentacles, Emperor to the Empress. My God. Like, I mean, these people are destined to be rich. Or I ain't even going to say rich, but wealthy. These people are going to manifest so much money. Whoever this couple is, like real shit. Like, real shit. But I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles upright and the Knight of Pentacles, I'm telling you, there could be, like, some jealousy or some competition over this Queen of Pentacles, over this Empress. But I don't know if this King of Pentacles, I don't know if this King of Pentacles Emperor person knows that it's somebody trying to approach his Empress as well. So it's like he's dealing with this weirdo karmic-ass bitch over here that he got this kid with or this pending divorce or whatever the fuck this is. But then his wife or his girlfriend or whoever this Empress Queen of Pentacles is, she has somebody with the Knight of Pentacles from her past that's trying to, like, push up on her or something. Well, that's the Queen of Pentacles here. But I don't feel like she's paying this person no attention because her back is turned to him. So she's she's not even worried about this person, <laughs> whoever that is, the Knight of Pentacles. It's like somebody, somebody else is trying to make her an offer, but she's not even paying no attention to that shit. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, Justice Reverse. It could be a Libra. Yeah, 
I told you. Look, as soon as I said Libra and the King of Swords fell out. King of Swords reverse and the Justice reverse. So, yeah, there could be a lame, dirty, narcissistic-ass Libra man who's trying to push up on this Empress. Knowing that she's with a King of Pentacles or she's married now or she's in some type of relationship. Ooh, these, these karmic people are off the fucking chain. I feel like they're just getting really desperate at this point. Like, to the point where you're still trying to, like... Like, you're trying to push up on people who are in unions, people who are married and shit, that's not even checking for you. I can see if it was two people who were married and then, you know, one of them or both of them was looking for something outside of their relationship. But no, these are two people who value each other, who love each other, they're loyal to each other and their commitment and shit. And you got these weird ass motherfuckers who's trying to push up on these married people. Like, people are sick as fuck. Like, when somebody is, like, off the market or they're not available, like, that's just what the fuck it is. But these people be so lame and so narcissistic and crazy. It's like, they don't even care. I feel like it's a Libra, a Libra man trying to push up on this empress. But she's, like, she's with a King of Pentacles emperor or she's with her husband or her boyfriend or something. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? But, I mean, she's tapped in, though, with the, the uh, high priestess here. She she knows what the fuck these people are, what this person is up to. Yeah, look, she turned her back on this person. Three of Wands. It's like, bitch, I'm moving forward. Like the fuck. Yeah, so I mean, but this this King of Swords, um, Justice Reverse person. I don't think she this Empress Queen of Pink. Queen of Pentacles, this this Libra may be somebody that she just dated in the past. I don't feel like she has kids with this person. She could, but I doubt it. Or she might. I don't know, because she is the Empress. The Empress can talk about somebody with children. You know what I'm saying? So she may have kids, so this could be like her baby daddy. And I don't, whoever this King of Swords is, he's just cold and detached and bitter. So it's not even that he really wants this Empress, Queen of Pentacles person. It's like he just wants to fuck something up for her. Like, he's very spiteful. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, because he's left out in the cold. <laughs> five of pentacles. Yeah, the lover's card and the um, seven of swords reverse. Yeah, it's like she knows the truth about whoever this ex is from her past. And now they're trying to take action. But it's like she's already in union. Like, leave this person alone. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Because she came out as the... This empress came out as the queen of wands too. And here's the king of wands. So I feel like it's somebody from her past that's trying to take action all of a sudden. But it's like she's already with the emperor. And this emperor, king of pentacles, got some whiny, clingy ass bitch from his past. They refuse to let him go. So it's like they're really, this emperor and this empress are really having to stick together to protect their relationship from these weird ass motherfuckers. Like real shit. It's like they're, these people are desperate. It's like they're doing everything. They're doing every tactic to try to split this union up. But it's happening. Ten of cups and the lovers, the empress to the empress, the queen to the king of pentacles, the high priestess, the magician and the um four of wands. Yeah, look, this person's going to try to... The King of Wands and the Knight of Cups reverse. This this person from this Empress's past is going to try to come in and love bomb her to get her to sabotage this connection that she has with this Empress, but it's not going to work. The High Priestess, she already knows what this person is getting ready to do. Yeah, Page of Swords, they're, yeah, they already spying, lurking, and watching social media. Yeah, they could... This person from her past... This King of Swords, I mean, this um King of Wands, Knight of Cups person, he could have broke up with somebody. The Five of Swords, now he's feeling ashamed and defeated and embarrassed and shit. And now he wants, he's looking her up. He's looking up this Empress now because something is over for him or he broke up with some, with somebody. Shit, the Two of Cups is in reverse. He broke up with somebody. Yeah, he fell from grace. Six of Wands reverse. Yeah, and now he wants to chase this Empress. These people are sick. Yeah, he could have broke up with a Cancer. The Nine of Cups reverse and a Chariot. Yeah, but this this um this Empress not playing. She's showing up as the Queen of Swords. And this person is the King of Swords reverse. She's definitely not playing with this person. 
So, I mean, I don't know. These people are just going to have to get over themselves because this is just a shame. Like, what in the fuck? Tell me about this emperor and this empress. Yeah, look at that tower. Told you. What is this tower here? It's like this shit, whatever these people are trying to do to this union, it's going to blow up in their face with a tower. So this Queen of Cups reverse, if you're this Queen of Cups reverse and you're fucking with this union or you're this King of Swords reverse and you're fucking with this union, the shit is going to backfire on you really, really bad. Like you fuck with this couple or you fuck with these people, you're going to meet an instant tower. Period. Why is the tower here? Yeah, two of wands. It's these people who chose the wrong path. It's like now they're they're like desperate to get back in the graces of this emperor or this empress. So it's just like this this empress is having to fight off past motherfuckers and so is this emperor. Because I feel like people are trying to come in between them. Yeah, death card I told you it's not going to work. Death card. Mm -mm. The death is a permanent ending. So it's like you go fucking with this couple, tower and the death and the two of wands is what you will receive. Okay, so if I were these people, I would leave these folks alone. Okay, the emperor and the empress, those look, those are God's favorites, the ones who didn't done the work. So they're not the right people to be fucking with. Yeah, look at that. King of Cups reverse. And the Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, she can have some. This Queen of Cups reverse. So she could have cheated on this masculine, which is why he doesn't want her ass or he's just dropping her. It's like, bitch, nah, you, because she's connected to somebody too. Even though she was with this King of Pentacles upright at one point, there's a King of Cups reverse connected to her. With the Ace of Pentacles, it's a codependent man who wants to make her offer, but she doesn't want him. She wants this King of Pentacles. Oh, wow. So it's like, she, yeah, she tried to... <laughs> This is a stupid ass bitch. Like Queen of Cups reverse, bitch. You had a whole King of Pentacles emperor out here and you cheated on him for a King of Cups reverse. I mean, at least this King of Cups reverse actually wants to be with you with the with the uh ace of pentacles here, but like she doesn't want him. She wants this divine masculine back, but bitch, it's not gonna happen. It's like you are what you attract. So bitch, you're the Queen of Cups reverse, you get a King of Cups reverse until you work on yourself. But she doesn't want this offer. This King of Cups Reverse wants to offer her something solid or wants to marry her and shit. Shit, this King of Cups Reverse is probably happy that this Emperor ass is gone. But she doesn't want him. She's all in her feelings because this masculine is moving on to an Empress. Or has. That's crazy. So all the karmics are just running away from each other. Yeah, she could be acting like she's single and ignoring this person because she wants the attention of this divine masculine, but it's not going to work. Ace of Wands reverse, but she's not interested. He doesn't feel the same about you. Like, oh, wow. This, this shit is just crazy. I'm going to leave it here, Capricorn. Hopefully, you get something out of it. Hopefully, it resonates or it makes sense, and I will holler at you later. Peace.